Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how I do my face makeup for festivals and rates. Hopefully um, you can gain something from this, um, maybe learn some tips and whatnot. But yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So the really important thing um, is to be moisturized and to prime and all of that. And also to include sunscreen, um, especially if the sun's going to be out and this event is outdoors and you're expecting to be there in the daytime. It's really important that you're wearing um, sunscreen. I use this stick, but it's by Physician Formula, I believe, and it does have SPF in it. And I usually just kind of like do this in the beginning, right after I do my eyebrows, though, because this sometimes makes everything feel a little bit slippery. And then I do make sure to mix that in with my moisturizer, and I'm using the Fresh Vitamin Nectar um, face cream. And I really like the way that it smells. And then you also want to make sure you're rubbing it down your neck. I do put some eye serum underneath my eye. I have um, bags under my eyes, so it just kind of helps me feel a little bit more refreshed before I start my face makeup. Okay, so for foundation, um, I'm honestly a big believer in cream foundation. That may have to do with just me having dry skin, but I feel like it's so much easier to blend everything in, like like your concealer and your if you do cream contour, cream highlight, like I feel like it actually blends in together really well when I use a cream foundation. And I've actually used up all of this, so I've been scraping from the bottom of this ABH stick. If you were to use a liquid foundation, I don't really recommend matte foundations. I feel like those tend to kind of cling to certain places. Um, or maybe I just haven't found the right one for me, but I recommend like more of a medium coverage foundation so that you can kind of like build like in layers. I've been using the Il Maquillage foundation. This one's pretty good, but the only thing is is that it isn't going to cover everything. I do kind of prefer that though, and then having a more full coverage concealer, but it's really personal preference. This is just what works for me. So yeah, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of spreading it out with my fingers. Don't worry, my hands are clean. So my sister actually taught me this. One really good tip is to spray your foundation, like after you spread it out, spray it. Um, this is the Antioxidant Glow Water by Fresh. Really love this stuff. And um, Or you can use your setting spray and then spray your foundation and then blend it in. And it's supposed to make it more full, not more full coverage, but to make it last longer. And I've actually been using a brush for like a while. This is the A30 by AVH and it's a flat top brush. And I've been using this brush for my foundation and like all cream products. Mainly because um, I like that it gives it a bit more full coverage look. And yeah, this foundation routine is what I do for all like festivals that I go to. But yeah, I think the most notable time that um because i've actually taken pictures after the rave was nocturnal um last year i will insert some pictures right now and honestly like it lasted so long like it didn't it didn't move or anything and it was pretty hot that weekend so that's kind of why i figure i'm like oh like i really got this down then that was a really fun event i went with my group of friends and i actually did their makeup as well if you guys would want to see um, a video of me doing my friend's rave makeup, please go ahead and let me know. Now for concealer, I like to go in with these CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealers. And I love mixing these two just because um, I want to look highlighted, but I also like to just kind of cover around my mouth with this one. And this one's in the shade Golden Natural, and the lighter one's in the shade Golden Ivory. And I do just put a little bit, just a swipe underneath my eyes. And then I look, I have some dark spots, which you can't really see um, around my mouth. So I really do like to make sure that that's covered. So I do kind of work quickly just because this, film, um, this concealer, I mean, is a little bit more like of a matte concealer. And it does have really good coverage. Down the bridge of my nose and then in the center of my forehead and if you do like i did then just kind of go in here with your finger and pick up some product if you got too much 
like I said, this concealer like a little bit goes a long way. So now I'm gonna go into Golden Ivory and I'm gonna go in directly underneath my eyes to highlight, just like a swipe. And this is really gonna highlight my under eyes. And then just gonna cover up my bags a little bit extra. Of course, you don't have to use two different concealers. If you have one concealer that they're Concealer, sorry, that's a little bit more like full coverage That you know, like you always use go ahead and use that. I'll probably link these the covergirl concealer down below But yeah, you guys can see that This is kind of like Brightening my under eye like that Literally like I feel like this is the most crucial part is to set your face and to make sure that everything's gonna stay I highly recommend this powder. This is a CoverGirl um, True Blend Minerals Loose Mineral Powder and this is in the shade Banana. This is like my holy grail product. As you can see on the bottom of this, I literally just have like that little corner left. I need to order another one. Absolutely in love with this powder. A little bit goes a long way. I do recommend not wearing your outfit if you're going to use this powder because it kind of gets everywhere, but like this powder is just like, like, you know, like it's just so good. So I put it on the lid and then I'm just going to go in with a sponge and I'm just really going to go right underneath the eyes first. I go underneath the eyes first because my eyes crease really bad like that. I do just go in with this powder in the center of my face, so wherever I added the concealer, and then around my mouth. And this powder is only $7, it is on Amazon, so if you have Prime, you don't even have to pay for shipping. But I gave my sister the translucent one, and she loves it so much, she uses it all the time. And she has oily skin, I have dry skin, we both really like it. I'll go in with a flat top brush, and what I'm gonna do is... I'm just gonna slowly take that extra product and then just use it to set everything else. Usually what I'll do um, is I'll take some of my Maybelline loose powder and then I'll try and set the spots on the outside where it feels a little bit tacky. Mainly because for me personally, whenever I try and put bronzer on, it'll stick to only those spots and it'll get really difficult to blend it out. Okay, so now to go in with a bronzer, I use this one, it's by Il Maquillage, and it's in the shade Waka Waka. Highly recommend this one. It's my favorite bronzer, like, ever. I feel like a lot of bronzers um, didn't really, like, have that warmth that I wanted. But this one, look. Like, look at that. And it's like an instant, just, like, glow. See, like, it just kind of warms everything up. And I am using a, um, this is the e.l.f. complexion brush. You guys can see what it looks like. But yeah, I'm just going to go around the perimeter of my face. Like so. And you guys can just see that it's just really warming everything up and bringing more, more color to my face. So it's not just like one dimensional. I do like to kind of drag it down a little bit just to make sure that it doesn't look crazy. I usually kind of like to like squeeze it and then just kind of go along the sides of my nose just so that the center of my face isn't like washed out. Okay, so my absolute favorite contour um, for any occasion is this. This is Saddle by ABH. It's a powder bronzer, but it's it, it actually has like a bit of a cooler tone to it and it helps deepen up the contours of my face. So I'll usually kind of like put that um, lower than my bronzer just so that it doesn't overtake the whole thing and then just kind of like more into my face, into like the corners and everything and then just like really defining defining, really defining my jawline. 
um, for the most part, you do want to keep your contour um, to where, you know, like if you were sucking your cheeks and create a line going up um, like that and above, it's just going to make it look a lot cleaner and it's not going to make you look like muddy or anything. So what I like to do, um, this is an extra step by the way, what I like to do is I just like to put some of this and this is a Maybelline powder, this is my skin tone. So that's why I like to do this and I'll just kind of keep it up here and then if I feel like I did too much with my nose then I'll just put it on the sides and then the other side. If you have an issue with trying to place your contour in the right place then this will really really help. And then I don't really leave it there to bake or anything, I'll just kind of let it sink in. And then like that see i really do think that the color of it um the color of blush that you want to use depends on the kind of look you want to do here i have the two blush trios from avh this one is called peachy love i recommend peachy love for more warm tone looks if you're going with something um in the warmer tones like you know reds yellows oranges then i do recommend more of a peachier orangey blush so that it kind of like suits everything else and blends in better and then this is pink passion and this is more of a pinkier pinkier tones and then you have like a little bit of a deeper one but i love these blush trios they are so long lasting and i literally like i would die for these blushes so you do want to go with something a little bit fluffy i do um i am going to be creating a look that has more of like cooler tones in it um it's more of a pastel look so i'm going to be using this one i'm going to combine just like these two right here and then I do tap it because it is kind of a stronger blush and I just slowly start to layer it and then you guys can see that I am taking it back I feel like um, when you kind of bring it black black <laughs> when you kind of bring it back that it'll just kind of blend into the bronzer super easy so then it's not like just a streak and another streak but you can always, you know, like take it up here as well if you want to look like, you know, like you want it to be a really cutesy look. I honestly think that bronzer and blush are really important in a face routine because it's going to add that color back to your face. And especially if you're going to be taking pictures with flash in the nighttime and everything, your face isn't going to look completely blank. So don't be scared to, you know, like add contour, add bronzer, add blush and all of that. Um, do not be afraid. It is your best friend, especially for the nighttime, because when you're taking pictures of flash, I've done it before too. Um, I look like a ghost, like it looks really bad, and I look like I have no color in my face. For highlight, I love this highlight. It's not mine, it's my sister's, but I like to use it. And I do like to layer my highlights, so one second. This is the Anastasia Glow Kit in Sugar. I love this because it has both um, a yellow tone highlight and a pinker tone highlight and I kind of like to just take both of these and mix them and it just kind of enhances the highlight I'm like gonna take it up here along the side and then a little bit up here again and then along the chin and just a little bit right here all right, side note, I did not include setting spray. I'm so dumb, but I like to use this glow water sometimes when I just want my makeup to blend into my skin really well, and you can use this for after makeup, but if you want something that's really going to seal it in, I recommend a matte setting spray. This is a Revolution Pro Hydra Matte Fixing Spray. There are also, um, there's also the Urban Decay one, but if you want a more affordable version, here it is. So this is pretty much the look, um, well the face routine. I will be doing um, a separate video on my eyeshadow look and also on how to apply face gems and glitter using um, Lunatics products. But yeah, I really hope you guys found this helpful and let me know if you have any more questions on what I used and how I used it in the comments down below. Alright, thank you. And this is how it looks in natural lighting. <laughs>